A lottery winning technique. In this video, I wanted to share with you what I'm doing in order to win the lottery. I am already a lottery winner. I'm going to share more about that in this video, but I also wanted to share what I'm doing specifically in order to be the winner of the major lottery prize because there is a difference. So I want to talk about that and give a really practical technique that you can apply right now if lottery winning is something that you'd like to experience in this amazing reality because that's why we're here to experience all that is on offer and the lottery is just one of those many experiences. So that's what we're doing today. Stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi and I'm a qualified life coach specializing in the law of assumptions. So if you would like support stepping into the starring role of your movie and experiencing the reality that you want to experience in any area of your life, you'll find the details for my coaching below this video or at my website. I also have a free 21 day set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling that sets the foundation for everything. Again, those details are below or at my website, youarethone.com.au. But for now, let's get into it. So this was actually a video I was planning on doing a little bit further down the track, but then I know that winning the lottery is something that a lot of you are working with. And a few of you had questions, including paranormal witness girl. I think I've got that right. You wanted to know uh, the specific techniques around stepping into the version of winning the lottery in order to have that reflected back in your reality. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. But this is also something that I am working with myself and that's why I wanted to hold off on making this video uh, until my reality reflected back the result. But I thought, well, hey, let me just share what I'm doing with the experience of winning the lottery and maybe this can help you as well. But I also wanna say, I am a lottery winner and I'm going to share those stories with you in a second. But what I am working on is experiencing myself as a major lottery winner. And that is something that I already am in consciousness. But my reality hasn't yet caught up to that. So I just want to make that clear that I am making this video even though I haven't experienced the result that I've experienced in consciousness yet. The other day I did a video on becoming the version that you want to be now because you have to be that version now in order for reality to reflect it back. Remember, reality is always reflecting back who you are in consciousness. So if you are somebody who wants to win the lottery but hasn't, and if that's the version of you that you are assuming yourself to be and walking around this world being, your reality is going to reflect back. I also want to mention we're not talking about gambling here. I'm not teaching gambling. This is not to do with gambling. This is intentional and this is using conscious awareness to have an experience that you want to have in reality. Winning the lottery is just one of the many infinite experiences that are available to you. If that excites you, if that lights you up, if that is something that you desire, then you can have it. Anything is possible. And if you desire it, then the possibility of that experience exists within that desire. So yes, if you desire winning the lottery, then it's absolutely available to you and there's nothing wrong with that. That's an experience that you're free to have. Winning the lottery was always something that I was kind of intrigued by and excited by, but thought was out of the realm of possibility because I was limited in my thinking. And then of course I come into these teachings and suddenly everything's possible. And I'm like, well, let's put that on the list. So I put that on the list. I didn't do much with it. And then I thought, okay, hang on a second. I'm going to focus on this because the one thing that I had I've always had. I used to play the scratchies and I would do it in a way where it just felt good. It was never because I needed the money. It was just an experience that I wanted to have. The, the idea of winning was exciting. So I would play the scratchies every now and then just whenever it, it popped into my head and I would always win. And I would win, I'd go out, I'd buy the scratchies, I'd scratch, I'd win, I'd go back and get another scratchy, I'd win again, and then I'd go back. And I had that happen so many times where people at the news agents were getting so sick of me. So I thought, okay, well, let's manifest something bigger. Let's manifest a big lottery win. So this was probably back in 21, where I really consciously made the decision that I wanted to win the major lottery prize or a major lottery prize. I didn't care which one it was or where it was. I just was like, I want that experience. I set about affirming that I am a lottery winner. Once I made the decision to become a lottery winner consciously, I then proceeded to win every single week. And because I entered two lotteries, I would win at least once, sometimes twice. And then one week I entered a third lottery and I won three times every week for two months. Two months, every single week, I won the lottery. That's why I am a lottery winner, because I 
win the lottery. However, I was winning the minor prizes, like the really small amounts. And after about two months, I was like, huh, okay, I am, a, I am a lottery winner. My reality is reflecting this back. So then I realized, oh my God, of course, so many people are a lottery winner. In every lottery, lots of people are lottery winners. They are a lottery winner. There's a lots of lottery winners every lottery. But I was focusing on winning the major prize. So I adjusted my assumption that I was the lottery winner. And guess what happened? As soon as I did that, stopped winning. Why do you think that was? because I had negative assumptions about winning the lottery, about being the one person who won the major prize. My reality is now reflecting back my subconscious assumptions that I didn't know were there, which is what you've got to do with it. Whatever your reality is reflecting back, that's reflecting back the assumptions that are in your subconscious, which you can't see. That's how you can see them is through your reality. So I was looking at my reality, I'd gone from winning every single week, sometimes twice, sometimes three times for two months, and I was doing this very consciously. So that's how I knew my reality was reflecting back. Because as soon as I shifted into I am the lottery winner, boom, it dried up, I stopped winning. So then I realized I had negative assumptions about winning. And then I had to look at what are my assumptions about winning, but also what are my assumptions about winning the lottery? And I realized I had some really negative assumptions. You know, I won't go into them. They were negative, they weren't very favorable. So just ask yourself, what are some possible negative assumptions that I might have about the lottery that are in the way? You might have an assumption that says you've got to work for money, therefore you can't win it. That assumption about working for money may be stronger than the assumption that it's easy and natural to win the lottery. So that may be in play. You just want to be curious with yourself. What are your assumptions about winning the lottery? But then also, what are your assumptions about winning? One of the big things that came out for me was that I didn't want to disappoint people. If I'm the winner, it means that all those other people are now disappointed and I'm the cause of it. And that was something that was quite shocking to me because I have come from a bit of a people pleaser story. I want everyone to be happy. So I don't want to be the one that wins because if I'm winning, everybody else misses out. So I had to work through those assumptions and it doesn't take a lot of time. I wrote out what the assumptions might be based on what my reality was reflecting back, which was that I wasn't winning the major prize in the lottery. So I had some negative assumptions about that. And then I just changed them. It's natural and easy for me to win the lottery. If I win, everybody else wins. So frustration is a really good sign that there's a dominant assumption running in opposition to your desire to win the lottery. Just look at what assumptions you might have about winning the lottery. That it's not okay, that it's unnatural, that it's impossible, that it's uh, too easy, that lottery winners are lazy, that it's not okay to get free money, um, that you'll be disappointing other people, it's not okay to be seen. There's a, a myriad of possible assumptions that could be in the way of your lottery win coming through. So when you're working on becoming a lottery winner in consciousness, you wanna be the lottery winner. You are the one who is the winner of the major prize. I am the winner winner of the major prize. I am the lottery winner. I am the one who's got the keys to the car or the keys to the house or the massive jackpot of money, whatever it is. I am the chosen one. I am the winning ticket. You can use the I am technique on the lottery. I am the competition. I am the ticket. I am the prize and I belong to me. You can use all of these different techniques. I play with them all just depending on which one feels good. And I just make sure that I am in the state of already being the lottery winner. Once you've got your assumptions in rapport with your desire and you know that it's possible and it's natural and it's okay for you to be the lottery winner and that you're not disappointing anybody by you being the lottery winner, that of course everybody can be the lottery winner at some point, then you can step into the version of you who is already the lottery winner. You have to be the person who has won the lottery in order for reality to reflect that back. Think of the time when you won the major prize. You may have received a phone call, you may have gone and picked up the key, or you may have opened your bank account and seen all the money in there. So I want you to imagine that scene of what it was like when you won the lottery, whatever lottery it was, just imagine when that was. Now remember, you haven't won it yet, but in your imagination, your brain doesn't know the difference between what it sees in reality and what it imagines, the information that you input it with. So in your mind, go into that scene, play that scene out as if it was a past memory. And how do you do that? You just remember it. A memory is an imagined act. It's an act in your imagination. That's what a memory is. Memories can be past or future. So you just remember that scene of you winning the lottery. So you play that scene out. Oh yeah, that's right. I won the lottery. So now I am a lottery winner. So now I'm watching this video as the lottery winner. I am the lottery winner. Remember, 
In order to have a new reality, you have to begin with a false assumption and a false assumption is that you're the lottery winner. You are the winner of a major prize in a lottery draw. That's the version of you that you wanna play with throughout your reality. So using the technique from the other video, you step into the version of yourself as the lottery winner while you're doing your normal daily activities. So you could be getting in the car, you could be going for a walk. If you want help to get into that state, remember that moment when you realized you became a lottery winner. You received the phone call, you checked your bank account, you got the keys to the car or the house, whatever it was. Play the scene in your mind. Remind yourself of that moment when you became the lottery winner. Feel how good that felt. Enjoy that feeling and then go into your normal daily activities from that state of consciousness. I know personally two people who have won the major prize in the lottery. One of uh, the people that I know won an apartment blocks uh, not far from where I live and they had been working very diligently on changing their money story. This is a number of years ago. And then I also know a friend of mine's mom also, she'd been saying for years, oh, just a million, I just need a million. And then she won a million bucks. The other thing that you can do is when somebody wins the lottery, claim them as I am. Remember, everyone is you pushed out. So if anyone wins the lottery, that's you winning the lottery in that level of reality. So you wanna claim them as I am. Never, ever, ever feel jealous or disappointed or resentful for anyone who has won the lottery. They are you, they are an expression of you reflecting you back. If it's in your reality, then it has to be in your consciousness. It's available to you and you just claim that as I am. I am the name of that person and I am the winner of a major prize in the lottery. So that's what I'm doing and I look forward to sharing that story with you very soon because that would be super fun and I look forward to hearing your success stories as well. If you're interested in winning the lottery, put it into action and then report back your success stories. And what we are going for here is a major win. Enjoy, have fun, and please remember you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too, and you will have an amazing life. And this is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you and for me too. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for doing this work. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.